Hi, I'm Anita Potter from Anita Potter Productions, and we're going to fix this mix part 11. If you would be so kind to like and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. You can follow me on all my social medias down in the description below. Join the Discord. It'll be great. Anyway, that out the way, we're going to work some more on these uh, vocals. Um... When I was doing the critical listening sec session the last time, I could still hear that stuttering bit in the first vocal right here. So I am going to take a listen to that real quick in solo. I'm hurting. Right, was... Try this again. It's too quick. I'm hurting. Right, let's see. I'm hurting. All right. Zoom in a little bit. Where's it? Drag that back a little more. That's your hurting with Why is this one so much more of a pain in the butt than the other one? <laughs> Maybe if I do that. I don't know. That's your hurting with the Let's see something. That's your hurting actually part in there. That's your hurting with Wait, let me see if we can hear it. Back it up and listen again. Okay. That one sounds better. Let me double check over here to the one to the right. right let me back it up because it comes up too fast. Okay. That one was fine. It was just that other one that was driving me nuts. Anyway, all right, so we're going to finish, hopefully, the vocals today in this session. I can scroll down so I can get to the beginning of the song. So we are going to do some DSing. Some more DSing. We'll fix this because it just doesn't seem like it's working too well. So let's listen. Falling, don't know where we're going, but it's all right. Gliding, drowning out the darkness with our light. None of it matters, no, none of it matters by our side. Okay, adjusting that helped it a little bit more. So what I want to do is I want to add another auxiliary track over here. Control T, drag it up to the top. And I'm going to add that new Waves freebie plugin from Black Friday. All right, we're going to use the uh, new uh, Waves plugin, uh, Magma Lil Tube. We'll use the Mono Send. Mono Send. We'll use the mono plugin because it's not a stereo file. So what I have to do now, I'm gonna write vocal saturation. And then I'm gonna send the vocal here. Pulse fader, pulse pan. Is there one that says post effects? Oh, that's that only sends pre fader. Shoot. Can I have both? Anyway, we'll just do it post fader, post fan, post pan. Ugh, it's been a long week. Anyway, um, all right. 
So I'm just going to just solo this and listen. Falling. Don't know where we're going, but it's all right. Do we have any settings for... Um, shoot. Trying to think. Let's see. We have normal, soft, and high. That out and drive. Um, damn. I was hoping they had like a wet or dry setting. Seemed to come with a no preset. So, shoot. I was hoping to um, jack the volume down. So maybe let's look at the uh, the send from the vocal. So I think that's. Let's turn the volume down on that. Falling. Don't know where we're going, but it's all right. Clayton, drowning out the darkness with our light. Let's crank it. None of it matters, no, none of it matters by our side. Hmm. Take this reality, leave it behind. Close your eyes. We could be anywhere, any way that we want. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna not go crazy. Let's not have it jacked all the way to ten. <laughs> so I'm gonna turn the volume down on that saturate saturation thing, and then I'm gonna bring it back in. All right. Let's just solo these. Falling. Don't know where we're going. Clayton, drowning out the darkness with our light. That's too much. None of it matters, no, none of it matters by our side. Let's see. Take this reality, leave All it right. be. Let's listen to it in the track. I'm a little worried when the chorus comes in because his vocals get louder. So we'll see. something on the vocals themselves let's try to let's turn the dsp2 off and go again Falling. oh my god that's so quiet never mind all right let's put it back on <laughs> This is what we do. We test, we test, we test. So turning it off, the volume was too much. So let's see. Um, I'm just going to turn this down just a little bit more on the saturation. All right, I'm going to close this window here. Save our file. All right, there was something else I was going to do with the guitars. Towards the end, there was another guitar that came out and up. Let's see, I turned that up. There was another one, and I don't know which one it is. I can't remember. I don't think it's. I don't think it's this one. It's probably this bottom one over here. That's well. 
so we can find out so I can turn that volume up. And I know that you're hurting with each tear, but I know that it's worth it. this one down here I kind of want to have it up a little more so let's see if I can hit tab how much that uh, it's just right move it back and hit slice S to slice let's see and those are the last little bits drag volume up over here. Turn those up a little, a little more on the out. Okay. Save our file. I think that was all I needed to do with that guitar. I'm going to do a listening session and then, um, if I had something to write on, I could write down where, um, if I need to volume automate the S's and any kind of hard consonant sounds. I do need a piece of freaking paper. I don't have one. Guess I'll just use this. It's sitting right here. All right. I keep <laughs> song title in my dialogue. Hilarious. All right. Let's do this.
All right. I made my little notes. <laughs> for what is tripping my ears off. So I will save this for the next go around. And that should literally, practically, hopefully, be the last bit on this fix this mix. Because it's it's been just like the vocals and the bass. Had I edited edited the bass properly on my first go around with this four years ago, probably wouldn't have gone through so much nonsense with it now. But hey, I was just learning. I didn't know much then. I know a hell of a lot more now than I did. So next go around, we are going to volume automate the S's, the harsh S's out of the vocal, or at least turn them down to where they're not so in my ear. How is your approach to vocals? What do you do with your vocals? Do you send them to a, a saturation auxiliary track? You leave them at is, do you crush the hell out of them with a compressor and blend it back in? Let me know in the comments section below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.